You too was good, gang. It's your boy Noah Too Slick, and your boy is back here with another vlog. You feel me? Now, today I got a question for y'all. What if? Now, this is what I need y'all to do close your eyes and visualize your life, your perfect life. The house you want, the car you want, the woman you want, the job you want, or however you want to make your money, the lifestyle, where you want to live, all that. Breathe in, breathe out. You still got that picture? Now, what if all that could happen? What if all that is going to happen? What if everything you just saw is a fortune and is God foretelling and foreseeing, giving you just a glimpse of what life can be like? If, if you walk in your purpose, if you grind, if you wake up early, if you stay up late, if you do what you need to do, if you set goals and you achieve them and you work towards them every day, so if, what if all of that could happen? You answer that by your actions. And to think about a real nigga, in the black community, we say real nigga, but a real nigga just means you a man. Like you stand out business, you credible. That's what a real nigga is. So when I'm saying you a real nigga, I only hang around real niggas. I only hang around people that are doing something I wanna do. So every homeboy I have, I swear to God, they either hustling, getting money, they probably in college learning something. They confident and they have, let's be real, they have hella hoes. Now, I don't really want hella hoes. That's not my thing. But they got, the thing about that is you got the confidence and the balls to go step. That's what that means. Nothing else, nothing more. I'm not with all that hoes. I just want me that right little babe, you know what I'm saying, that keep me leveled out. All that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm heavily masculine. I need the feminine to bring me level out. That's the whole thing. They could be acting like, you know what I'm saying, we don't need each other when we do. But we need each other in our natural roles, in our natural habitat. You know what I'm saying? The way the planet moving right now is stupid. I, I, I never knew niggas was bitches until I found out I was a man. You feel what I'm saying? I be expecting other niggas to grind too. But niggas don't be grinding. It's like y'all got social anxiety. Y'all scared to talk to women. Y'all scared to do something in public. Like, I don't understand. It's like, it's, it's mind boggling. I think I already said this, but I'm not hanging out with no bitch ass niggas. I'm not, I can't do it. That will ruin my day. It's like, I can feel a bitch ass nigga drain my energy. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, he talking and complaining and, nigga, shut the fuck up and go work out. How about you go get some bitches? How about you get some money? You feel what I'm saying? And I hate to be so superficial because everybody that know me know I be on my spiritual timing, but it's 50-50. It's like, definitely I'm on, I'm up above the clouds, but I'm also on earth, so I got to keep it a band. It's not all about the physical butt shit. It's a percentage. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, your boy just got done with his push-up workout. Now, I know I just got on y'all head super heavy. And I know a lot of people that seen that is like, nigga, why are, you, why are you talking like you all that? Well, let me just do this. Tell your girl to come here to watch this part of the video. You feel what I'm saying? Tell your girl to watch this. Tell your girl to look at this and ask her one thing. Babe, do you want me to look like that? And see what she say. And then, on top of that, ask her, would you fuck that nigga? No, I'm playing. Don't ask her that because you're going to get an answer you don't want. But I bet you one thing. She goes to her friends and be like, y'all, do y'all know who Noah Too Slick is? Bro, y'all got to check this out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, when you, get, when you get right, physically, mentally, and spiritually, bro, you is unstopped. Look, look at me. Like, bro, how can I not be confident? How can I not be on YouTube giving y'all game? How can I not make money? How can I not get these women? I take my shirt off, they jumping in the What you mean? Look, look how I'm living. Look how I'm living. Like, bro, let's just be real. Come on. Come on. Look how I'm living. At 18, niggas not even doing this at 25. You feel me? Like, be real. And I know niggas gonna be mad at me. Peep this. 50%, nah, nah, like 95% of y'all niggas hating right now. But that's okay, y'all watching. I love the haters. Leave me a hate in the comment. Tell me I'm fat. Tell me I'm ugly. Tell me I'm ugly. Give me some hate. I need it. I need some fuel. Now, the other nine, I said 95% hate. So the other 5%, like, okay. That nigga do look a little big. Okay, maybe that nigga make a little bit of sense. I don't know. Let me, I'll tell you what. All my haters and all my lovers do one thing for me. For, for, for one day, for 24 hours, set a time to wake up, wake up at that time. Now, when you wake up, first thing you need to do, go outside, drink some water, 
Second thing you need to do, stretch, and then meditate. Third thing you need to do, do a little workout. Okay, you do all them things in the morning, shower, boom, start your day off right. Do that for 24 hours. I mean, 24 hours. Do that for one day in the morning. Tell me how you feel after. Now, do it for a week. Tell me how you feel. And do it for a month. Tell me how you feel. If I'm capping, you unsubscribe. Don't ever watch none of my videos. I'm a liar. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. But if I'm right, you got to subscribe and then send my, my channel out to somebody, five people you know. You know what I'm saying? I, I changed your life. You can't send my video to five people. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and go do some pull-ups. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time to run in the morning because I got class at 8. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to go to the gym again. I'm not really mad. I'm just really passionate about what I'm talking about. So just like when you see somebody talking about NFL and they start to yell and boom, boom, they're not mad. They're just passionate about what they're talking about. I'm passionate about real life. I'm passionate about y'all reaching y'all goals and y'all desires because what y'all fail to realize is it's not all about y'all. It's not all about me. Just because you on your purpose, that's lit. But think about how that affects other people, y'all. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. It's not all about you, bro. I get it. You're going to self-improve. But when you self-improve, you improve in everybody's life. And then you improve in the earth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if I change 10 of y'all lives and y'all become who y'all supposed to be, y'all didn't change my world too. Duh. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, gang, your boy had to change up the swag because I ain't going to cap. It's actually a little bit cold outside, so I had to throw on the puff and the long sleeve. But I was looking myself in the mirror, and I was like, bro, I actually want to rule the world. I was like, hold on. Are you for real? And I was like, yeah, that's for real. Because I'm thinking, if somebody got to rule the world, why not it be me? I'm not trying to be ruled. I'll be the ruler because I know how good-hearted I am. I know I ain't going to be no savage. Make sure everybody in my country, state, universe, earth going to be safe. So why not me for president? You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of times I was like, for a minute, I'm like, nah, I just want to stay out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. But then the older I got and the more I learned, it's like, why would I stay out the way when I'm supposed to be? I'm supposed to be the way. You feel what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be all up in the way. I'm supposed to stand out, not stand off to the side. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a leader, not a follower. There's something called duality. There's a duality to life. You got to take life super serious while also taking it not serious at all. Because quite frankly, you're not in control at all. As much as you think you are and as everybody want to think, we're not really in control. You know what I'm saying? You just have to do your best. Your very best. That's when that grind come in. The grind come in, you're doing your very best. But then the not caring as much comes from, well, I'm not in control of everything. You know what I'm saying? I can just do me, control me. Everything outside of me is kind of, you know what I'm saying, out of my control. So it's a duality to life. So I want you guys to take life super serious, grind, 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 but also find fun in the grind and just have fun being alive, living life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You only get one shot at this from what I know. Maybe get two or three. But right now, for all I know, you get one shot at this life, man, and you never know when you're going to die. So grind, but, man, find time to do stuff you love that you enjoy to do that don't feel like a grind. You know what I'm saying? So it's a duality. I don't want to be on your head too much, but sometimes y'all need... Some of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I do. So, yeah. Your boy got quesadilla, fries. You know, it's all about the sauce. You know what I'm saying? With the boom. You know what I'm saying? So, funny thing is, so like two, three, no, like four hours ago, I went to the library, right? Tell me why I fell asleep in the library, like at on the computer, on the keyboard, like this. Boy was sleep. Like, it don't take me nothing for me to go to sleep. Like, when you really grinding, when you up early, any silence, any peace, any anything, you going to sleep, I'm not going to cap. So I just left an SI session. It was pretty gravy, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a student-led study session, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and eat up. I need to do a couple more school things, then I'm going to go ahead and hit the gym. I haven't ran yet either, so I got to knock that out tonight. So, yeah, so I'll catch y'all in a minute, man. You feel me? All right, gang, so your boy is currently at the gym. I ran on the indoor track today. You feel what I'm saying? So let's see, 1.41 miles. 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I got the run in, you know what I'm saying? And to be real, I didn't even want to come to the gym, you know what I'm saying? I was really laying in the bed just like, yeah, I'm not trying to go to the gym. And I still came anyway because, you know, I don't play none of them games. Made it to the house. My phone died before that last clip or whatever y'all was watching. I can't lie. Your boy is just tired, like, for real. Like, 
We've been grinding all day like usual, every day. So at the end of the day, you're supposed to feel drained if you did what you did. You know what I'm saying? You did what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to feel a little bit like, phew, that's what make you want to go to sleep. But I know I got to wake up in the morning and do the same thing over again. So if you're still here, man, make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to all my old subscribers. Shout out to my new subscribers. We all one family, we all one gang. Shout out to y'all, man. Chase your dreams. Grind hard. Keep doing you. Keep pushing. And I'm going to catch you in the next video, man. You feel me?